Alright, since we're here in the new school, we need to find you a new corner. Uh oh. Alright, so we're gonna do that this week really quick. Let's find ourselves a new corner right now. Which corner would you like? We should just walk to some corners, feel it out, see how you feel. I mean, it's private, it echoes, I can hear myself pretty well, and, um, but it doesn't really feel, it doesn't really feel like the old. This is the corner? This is the corner. This will be the official Timmy's corner in yes. the new school. This will. Put your hands up and do a little celebration shot. Hey Timmy, last week we picked this as your corner. Look yeah. what they did to it. What are, what's up with this? Your thoughts? Uh, it is necessary, but I guess they should put it somewhere else. I mean, I don't know, maybe I should resort to sitting down here now. Maybe this could be an alternate. All right, for this week, we asked a lot of other people in the school about Mother's Day. And you have a nice relationship with your mom. So I want to have you talk a little bit about uh, your relationship with your mom. Well, she's really nice. She, um, she, under she understands a lot. I mean, she may... I mean, she may say, she may yell, yell at me time and time again, but she's actually a very nice person. What is the, can you think of a story or something special that your mom did for you before? Well, when I got sick with the fever, she did, she did get off of work just to, just to, you know, stay with me at home. So that was very nice of her. What would you do without your mom? Um, I don't, I don't really know. That's actually a pretty hard question to answer for me, because, um, I don't know. Maybe I just live up, just, I don't know, really. I mean, truthfully, I don't really know. How much has she impacted your life? Um, she's taught me a lot. Occasionally, she helps me out with algebra homework, and um, yeah, she's she's okay. Any final words? Uh, maybe to your mom who will be watching this video. Um, to you, mom, who'll be watching. Um, thank you so much. Love you, and um, I hope the house is I hope the house is a lot warmer than this wind. Welcome to part two of Epic Video. Last week we did move into our brand new school, the friendly confines of 838 Kearney. Now we had a big ceremony as you saw last week and one of those in attendance was our former principal, Dr. Denoto. When I graduated, he was actually Mr. Denoto and became Dr. Denoto after I graduated. Nevertheless, Dr. Denoto was gracious enough last week to give us a few minutes of his time. What do you think are some of the fondest memories when you think back at your time uh, here at St. Mary's? Oh, my fondest memories. Certainly the, the, the celebrations, the different community celebrations. We found the, the uh, uh, fall festivals, uh, the May crownings. Um, I enjoyed most uh, being in the classroom. I never really gave up being in the classroom. It's an incredible faculty, a very dedicated faculty. Uh, people who graduate, like yourself, and come back. Uh, to work uh, in, in the school, uh, those, are, those are things that are rare in, in the education world. Usually people want to get out and move away and never, never look back. That's not here. There's always a sense of giving back. You almost kind of get that answer from um, almost anyone at any school around uh, the world maybe about 
how this place is unique and whatnot. What makes St. Mary's really unique and separate from everybody else? Okay, the identity of St. Mary's. I grew up in a very ethnic neighborhood in an area uh, following World War II where Italians weren't welcome in a lot of the public schools. And so they started their own schools. They, they nurtured the Italian culture, the Italian language. Italian was the second language taught in the school. And it was a church-related school. The church had started the school. Um, I grew up with that. Coming to St. Mary's, it was kind of deja vu. In a different culture, but also a culture that had been originally alienated. The church uh, opened schools, created a very strong sense of community. The teachers, like my teachers, were of the community, from the community, went to the school, came back as teachers. So there was a real sense of home, there's a sense of family that I have not found in any other school. So uh, what have you been doing these last few years uh, since you've uh, left St. Mary's? Uh, since I've left St. Mary's, uh, I relocated down, down south to Palm Springs. I was going to retire, uh, except the superintendent of schools here, Maureen Huntington, Dr. Huntington, she called the superintendent of schools down there and she said, oh, by the way, we have somebody who's moving down there, you might be interested. So I was contacted and there was a school that was in great financial uh, crisis and uh, they asked me if I would take a look at it and if I would consider becoming their principal. And, uh, and I did. And I actually retired after, uh, after that school. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, now, I want to say enjoying retirement, but enjoying retirement means keeping busier than when you were working. Mm -hmm. Because I'm involved in uh, uh, community action groups and uh, political groups, uh, church affiliated work, uh, and also uh, uh, helping in uh, a food kitchen. So it keeps me more than busy. One thing that I really enjoyed personally, I think I probably only got it for two years, was um, the idea of a spirit family. And um, you remember that, yes. where you have someone from Evergrade and it has continued till this day. <laughs> where did you uh, come up with the idea to put that together? Because I think that really helps, you know, especially the younger kids, they kind of get to know people around the school, get some acclimated. Where mm -hmm. was your inspiration on that? Uh, the Spirit family, although I'd like to take credit for <laughs> the way we've done it, well actually I will take credit for the way we do it. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it started out of necessity when I worked in the inner city where we needed adult or uh, older mentors for children, and older kids were getting themselves into trouble. And usually the best way of keeping an older kid out of trouble was giving him more responsibility, more responsibility especially working with younger students. Here at this school it became a natural thing because there were so many families, natural families already here in the school. Um, we did have, of course, older students. The junior high was here in the building as well as the uh, the, the primary and the kinder uh, grade. And so we thought, well, let's give the eighth graders a little more responsibility, put them in charge of younger ones. And the younger ones, of course, will have mentors to look up to. And the rest was history. It just worked out. Any final words for uh, just everybody and how much you miss them? Well, I just want to say hi to everybody. Uh, and I miss you dearly. I miss St. Mary's dearly. I've mentioned to Father Daniel before, if I had a dollar for every person that came up to me today and, and said, when are you coming back? Are you coming back? We probably would have the money to finish off all of the classrooms. Uh, it's just been a privilege and a joy to be a part of St. Mary's, uh, and it continues to be, because I will always be a part of St. Mary's, and I know they will always have me in their hearts. So thank you very much. Sunday we held our fourth annual shoot-a-thon and it was Mother's Day so a lot of people could not make it. Well have no fear, we will have a makeup day. You can come anytime this Sunday or next Sunday to NDV. Just show up and shoot to raise money for the sports fund. As I mentioned before, I will also shoot if you want to donate to a good cause. One person that did show up to shoot, the great Larry Wong. So big thank you to Larry. Larry raised a lot of money on Sunday. So when you see him around the streets or writing you a ticket, tell him thank you and thank you. So for sports awards night, since I am graduating, I will be announcing my retirement from Timmy's Corner. But it's not the last that you hear from the corner. One lucky 7th grader 
will be able to take the corner and continue my great work. And who he or she will be, I still don't know. I am still choosing, but you'll know by Sports Awards Night. And how do you find out? Go to Awards Night. Another big event happening later this month is Girls All-Star Sunday. That is when the school-wide Game of Knockout will be played. This year, the Coaches Game has been renamed to the Larry Wong Coaches Game. So, all the coaches from this year will be playing in that special game. In the main event this year, the 8th grade girls will play last year's 8th grade girls. So, it's going to be Class of 2010 versus the Class of 2011. The winning team will become my new favorite class. As we wind down the year, that means graduation is just around the corner. And that also means we get graduation dinner invites. Flashback! Dear Mr. Chung, you are invited to St. Mary's Chinese Day School Class of 2010's graduation dinner and dance. Cost free because you are invited guests. Any other guest will cost 55. Mm. Checks should be made payable to Mrs. Eileen Wong, RSVP by Friday, May 14th. Thank you. We hope you will be able to attend. Here's my letter for this year, my invite for this year, and I will read it to the Epic Video audience. Dear Mr. Brian Chung, St. Mary's School Class of 2011, invites you to their graduation dinner and dance. Saturday, June 4th, 2011, 5.30 to 11.30, free because you are our invited guests. Well, Class of 2011, thank you very much. Ah, you thought I was going to rip it up, but you know what? Sometimes you do things that you find funny before or you've done it a few times and then after a while they just kind of stop being funny. So I've decided that this year I'm going to keep this invitation and cherish it for the rest of my life. Yeah, Michael Jordan! Be there Friday night as the 8th grade girls go for their 3rd straight championship game. It's playoff Friday, Friday, and everyone get down on Friday. Which seat should you take? Take the one at Mission Dolores as tip-off is set for 6 p.m. Hopefully I'll see all of you there. Be there, and as I steal a line from the NHL, history will be made. Speaking of the NHL, uh, as you can see, I have my playoff beard still growing. I'm going to wave this pom-pom. I'm going to wave the towel. At the time of this taping, the Sharks are up 3-2 to two in the series. Now remember, they were up 3 nothing at one point, but the Red Wings have won the last two games. But I am very confident that tonight, or uh, tomorrow, or we're, we're, well, Tuesday night, basically, uh, it will end in a handshake. The Sharks will move on to the conference finals. It'll be great. And this 100% pure man will get hairier and hairier. News! And finally, your chance to tour the brand new St. Mary's School. We have an open house coming this Saturday. Starts at 3 o'clock all the way till 5.30. Just stop by the corner of Kearney and Jackson. Make yourself at home. Well, don't really make yourself at home, but, you know, check out the new school definitely. It's an opportunity that you don't want to pass up once again. This Saturday, May 14th, anytime between 3 p.m. and 5.30. That'll do it for Epic Video this week. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Tell a friend, tell a relative, tell someone, tell them to tune into Epic Video. Thank you to all my guests for watching. Thank you all for participating, and I will see you Friday night at Mission Dolores for the 8th grade playoff game. Woo! Go Sharks! I'm gone. Any of you still watching? So uh, tonight, while I was doing epic video, you know, doing all the editing, I was drinking ginger ales. I've just like cans of ginger ale everywhere. But anyways, the reason that I am still on right now, and some of you might have already checked out, you actually think that I wouldn't rip up the invite? You've got to be kidding me. Show's over.